Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to use custom form in Power Automate Desktop. Over here, if I look for display custom form, I'm able to design a form where I'm able to have the text input, number, date, time, whether it's a checkboxes, a drop down list and also we can design it with a, add an, another label or an images okay so from here i have a template that i want to set as a pre-event webinar survey okay so let's do this by adding all the label that i need Okay, first, this will be the label. I want to set it as Power Automate Webinar. Okay, from here, you are able to add a design to change the font style, or you can also change the size. Okay, and then next, I able to set the font color in this case, I just set it as default. Next, I want to add a text of name. Followed by email. And over here, I would like to set the style as email. number and of course email i want to set it as a mandatory field and the error message now i want to set a choice of how did you hear about this webinar? I want to name it as Choice Webinar and the label How did you hear about this webinar? Now, I will add a number of choice. In this case, I would like to set as social media. And this is the value that we're going to get after we select a choice. So in this case, I would like to put it as choice social media. Next. I would like to add another choice of recommendation from a friend or colleague. And the value I will set as so from friend, colleague. I would like to add for another search engine, Google, Yahoo. And lastly, is for others. Next, of course, I can also design my form to add a background. But the background, I have to input a URL. Over here, I have a custom URL available. And I set it as cover, which means I would like to put it into this format. 
if I set it as repeat, you do it this way. So depending on which type you prefer, since the repeat looks more neater, then I just set, set it as this way. And then now the next one, of course, I miss out a few things where my email label and also the mobile number let's try run this flow As you can see here, I can enter my name, whereas my email address is a mandatory field. Over here, I can also change it in such way I can able to select more than one item. So let's try to change this. I go to custom form designer. Afterwards, in my choice webinar, I can select it as allow multiple selection. And then each of these records after we click submit, it will be saved into a custom object type. So now I want to put it in such where after I got this value, I want to store it into Excel. Now, I will write to Excel for all the fields. Since it's a custom object type, how do I assess the value is basically custom form data followed by a square brackets and then the name of the ID. In this case, I have my text name, column, maybe column A and row will be first free row. And I repeat this action. Let's try to run this flow. Now I will enter a name. And then he has successfully entered all my records. Okay, so this is for one example where you can use custom form data. I have another example here. Where I put all these sets of actions into my process one subflow. And I also have another process two subflow. In this case, if I have a big project and one project I have a lot of subflows, I can make it in such way I display a form. 
and the form is to select the choice of process and then depending on the process type i can choose to run which subflow so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop.